In a dramatic twist of events, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were met with a resolute and concise demand from the departed queen before embarking on their departure from the royal limelight. Prior to bidding adieu to the royal family and seeking solace in the United States in 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex expressed their desire to maintain partial royal duties. However, this notion did not sit well with Queen Elizabeth, who unequivocally conveyed to Harry the necessity for clarity and wholehearted commitment in a stringent three-word ultimatum. During the significant Sandringham summit in early 2020, the royal family convened to discuss the future of Prince Harry and Meghan. In their Netflix documentary series, the couple disclosed being presented with five options ranging from maintaining the status quo to completely severing their royal ties. Despite their plea for a middle ground, their request was met with rejection. Harry adamantly stated that the goal at hand was non-negotiable and beyond debate. Subsequently, the esteemed queen issued an announcement reflecting a spirit of progress and cooperation, expressing her family's wholehearted support for Harry and Meghan's desire to carve out a new path as a young family. While preferring them to remain full-time members of the royal family, she acknowledged and respected their wish for a more independent existence. The Queen disclosed an agreement for a transitional period during which the Sussexes would split their time between Canada and the United Kingdom. Amid speculation about a potential return to the royal fold, even in a part-time capacity, following King Charles assuming the throne, renowned royal author Tom Quinn shared his insights, suggesting that Meghan and Harry had hoped for a more flexible approach from Charles upon Queen Elizabeth's passing. Thank you for your attentive viewership. We welcome your thoughts in the comments section and encourage you to subscribe for further updates.